In December of 1922, in the sleepy northern English town of Harrogate, we met our world-renowned psychics for the first time. Lorraine Bainbridge of Bainbridge Estate requested their help, fearing for her son Aidan's life. Upon arrival, the psychics learned that Lorraine had been experiencing strange phenomena about the house, as well as seeing strange behavior in her husband and watching her son fall ill and continue to worsen. Being a believer in spiritualism and sure that something was not right in the home, Lorraine called in four psychics. Horace Duncombe III, known for his work with the Society of Cyclical Research and his coining of the study of necroplasmology, as well as his pendulum divination work. Elliot Baker, an extravagant young lady who entertained party guests with her skills at automatic writing. Madame Iris Moody, world-renowned empath and traveler. And the great Vanu, charismatic magician specializing in the art of crystal ball gazing. The four quickly discovered that Lady Lorraine was right. Something was terribly wrong in the house. As they began to dig deeper, they unearthed a dark secret about the previous occupants of the house. Lord Silas and Lady Elizabeth, who had once lived at the estate, had lost their daughter, Caroline, in a tragic accident and then taken their own lives soon after. What no one had known is there was another daughter, Adriana, a powerful Cambion, the half-demon progeny of Elizabeth and a seductive incubus. The Cambion was raised by a servant and kept as a secret. As she grew older, she began to manifest powerful abilities of persuasion. She grew jealous of her half-sister, Caroline, and one day coaxed her into drowning herself in the pool. When the lord of the house discovered the truth, he confronted Lady Elizabeth, resulting in her accidental death as they fought. Unable to live with what he had done, Lord Silas killed Adriana in her sleep and hung himself soon after. The psychics discovered that Adriana still had her powers of persuasion even after death. She had grown jealous of Lorraine's son, Aidan, and was persuading Silas to slowly poison him to death. Despite Adriana's powerful anger, the psychics were able to banish her back to hell, freeing Elizabeth, Silas, and Caroline to move on together in peace.